Number 13 in this year's championship promotion race as Leeds United stake their claim for the top two. Who's going to go on this weekend? We're going to take a little look. Next. Today we're taking a look at match number 17, of course, over in this year's championship. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe button, bang up to all things Rovers related, championship related, world football related. We're going to all hit boys under one Ruski. That's right, Leeds closing into just eight points now uh, to break it into the top two. And don't even rule out the likes of Southampton as, of course, things get a little bit sticky at the top two. We'll get into it all of it in a second. Of course, if you're new, again, make sure you check out the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all the kind of good stuff. And again, if you do, make sure you bang the old subscriber whopping 78 percent of you are not subscribed so anyway let's get back into it of course and take a little look how we all got on last time our own then shall we of course uh it's been a bit uh wonky donkey with the old prediction league but we are back in glory uh, of course let's recap the results quickly because i don't really like the top one there as the rovers are sucker punched uh by preston off and 2-1 win for them Moving on. Uh meanwhile, Sunderland three one winners of a Birmingham two no win for me on that one. Meanwhile, Cardiff lost at home to Norwich three two in the end. Wagner, as of recording, I'm recording us early on the 15th of November, is still in a job, I believe. Meanwhile, Coventry two, uh Stoke two was my pick. It was a nil-nil draw in the end. Ain't too shabby. Borough uh two one. Uh, actually big win for them. One win of a Leicester one the other way. Southampton two one winners of a West Brom one with a two-nil win as well. Watford five nil win of a Rotherham with a three one win. Hull City one nil win of a Huddersfield I one with a three nil win. Uh Ipswich three two winners of a Swansea two nil win in my eyes. Leeds United two one winners of a Pl uh, Plymouth three nil win for me. Qu QPR did uh, draw with Bristol City I went with a 2-1 win myself and Wednesday lost to me with 4-0 in the end, bit of a bit of a stinger, zinger, stinger on the end on that one. Uh, of course, what does that done to the table? Well, let's have a little look then, shall we? Of course, uh, on the screen right about now. Here we go. Leicester City are to be the top of the table, of course, uh, heading into this weekend's action. They remain there with the uh, Ipswich Town level on points with them at the moment. Uh, of course, Leeds United eight points clear, uh, eight points adrift. Then Southampton, Preston off, and Sunderland are in the top six right now. Going down the Rotherham, QPR, and Sheffield Wednesday Rovers into twelfth at that moment of course. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the deep end and have a look at how you guys got on in the Prediction League. Alrighty then, folks, here we go with the with the last round. Anyway, Hans Wills coming out top with the yellow yellow cap here, the yellow jersey coming out top with 17 points. Well done to him. That was, well, of course, the games on the 10th and the 11th of November. Summer 2018 up there with 15.5 alongside Kieran Garrity as well. Philly Rovers doing A-OK, -okay, of course, uh, really flexing his prediction chops over the last uh, couple of games. Chops, I just saw that one right there. Uh, me, oh, I don't even know where I am. Uh, where am I? Did I actually put my, hopefully I put my predictions in. Uh, where the heck am I? Did I not bother doing it? There I am. Woo, I did nine points. Woo, get in there, get amongst it. Of course, the leaderboard, though, the situation in the leaderboard is Philly 77, top of shots, 179.5 remains. Top spot there, JSBFC up one spot to number two. Vinny Hong down to number three. Frosty, though, uh, TRB in the power five. Uh, Sexy Hogan up there to ninth. Goodness gracious me. Uh, what's going on there? Then Philly Rose up to 24th. Golly, what? I'm, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up two. Uh, stick it up, yeah. Uh, I mean, still in it. Still in the. You got to be in the power thirty-five to be in this one. Otherwise, you're lost at sea. But it can all change, guys. Very very soon. So 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 fear not. Fear bloody not. So uh, let's get back at the deep end. Then, of course, and have a little look at the next round of games. Then, shall we? Of course, as we look forward to uh, more championship action. So here we go. These are the games. Of course, I'm going to actually backtrack a hair. Uh, that's the link for the Super Brew. If you want to get involved, with it, it's still time to get involved. And even if you just want to go in for a week or two and just show, hey, I'm the, I'm the king well you gotta beat me the prediction king anyway we are looking forward to the next round of games and these are them they are of course coming at you following on from an international break is this the game is this the match that wayne rooney fc gets off to an absolute bobby dazzler well it is uh at st andrews of course wayne rooney fc up against sheffield wednesday both new managers ish both struggling a little bit uh with the climate that is the championship please the 28 times since the year 2000 we've got 13 wins for the brum we've got nine wins for sheffield wednesday and we've got six draws of course biggest win for the brum is 4-1 win they've got 41 goals in 28 matches 
1.46 goals a game. Up against Wednesday, their biggest win, 3 0 win. Scoring 32 goals in 28 matches, 1.14 goals a game. Wednesday, just the one win in six. That's one win for the coach as well. 25% form. They are 24th in the table and six points on the board. Up against Birmingham, one win in six. That is not Wayne Rooney's victory. In fact, he's got a record of a without a win in five. Four defeats as well. However, this is definitely a winnable game. 18 points uh, in the table, 19 points on the board right now. Coming at you, though, over at uh, at uh, St. Andrews. Last time around, it was a one day win for Sheffield Wednesday. In fact, the home side hasn't won this game in the last five matches. In fact, the last time this game uh, was a victory for the hosts was when Birmingham beat Wednesday back 3 1 win. It was back in October. 2018, of course. Uh, looking forward to the odds right here, right now. We've got Birmingham even steams for the victory. Of course, they are uh, the favoured here. 94 is the draw. 14 to 5 is your Wednesday here. Birmingham going to get the victory at long last. St. Andrews, uh, we'll see. Wayne Rooney FC picking up the, the victory at the right time. And of course, very some good games for them to come in forward. However, they got to lose the next one. That's all I can say. I'll do a trade off. You'll let you win this one, you'll let you lose the next one. Anyway, Bristol City again, new manager up against Middlesbrough, who are still in the mix, of course. Play to the 29 times in 1993. We've got 12 wins for Bristol City, 10 wins for Middlesbrough. We've got seven draws, of course. Biggest win for Bristol City, 3 1 win. We've got 40 goals in those 29 matches, 1.38 goals a game. Up against Borough, 40 uh, win was their biggest. 40 goals scored in those 29 matches, 1.38 goals a game. Borough, one defeat past six, 75% for them right now. Heading into this, they are, of course, 10th at the table and 24 points on the board. Up against Bristol City, 42 points on the board right now. 42% form for them right now. Two wins the last six. They are 11th with 22 points at the moment. Last time around, they're over at Thrashton Gate. It was a 2 2 draw back in April 20. 23. In fact, it was back-to-back -back draws between the two sides the last time around. Bristol City unbeaten against Borough over the last three and just one defeat past five. So they do like playing Borough heading into this, but the odds right here right now. We have Middlesbrough 11-4 for the victory. 5-2 is drawn. 90 to, uh, 2019 on is your Borough there. Borough are favoured here up against a uh, Liam Manning Bristol City. I'm backing a 1-1 draw. Point to pace. Uh, we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Meanwhile, Millwall, again, new manager up against Coventry, who are in a bit of shit right now. Uh, played for 25 times since 2001. We've got 12 wins for Millwall, nine wins for Coventry, four draws, of course. Biggest win for Millwall, 3 0 win. They got 33 goals in those 25 matches, 1.32 goals a game. Up against Coventry, 6 1 win, their biggest 35 goals scored in 25 matches, 1.40 goals a game. Coventry without a win in six now, 20th in the table, and 16 points on the board. Up against Millwall, big win for them. They're up to 15th in the table with 20 points, 42% form for them right now, uh, with uh, Joe Edwards uh, kicking ass. And and taking names. Last time around, though, at the den, it was a 3-2 win for Millwall back in August 2022. Uh, of course, Millwall, 4-0 winners on Wednesday last time around. Uh, Coventry, 0-0 uh, draw at Stoke. The odds right here right now, we have Millwall 13-8 for the victory, 11-5 is to draw 7-4 is your away win. That's Coventry. It's quite tight, but I think Millwall should nick this one, right? 2-1 win at home. Joe Edwards puts bloody Robbins under a bit of pressure. Uh, of course, Huddersfield Town against Southampton coming out you at the John Smith's Kirklees McAlpine Stadium. Uh, of course, played each other nine times in 2009. We've got two wins for Huddersfield, four for uh, Southampton, three draws, of course. Biggest win for Huddersfield, 2-0 win. They've got nine goals in nine games. You can do the math on that one. Meanwhile, Southampton, biggest win with a 5-0 win. They've got 17 goals in nine matches, 1.89 goals a game. They're unbeaten now in the last six. Bigger at four wins, of course, at the last five. 83% for them, uh, four for the table, and 30 points on the board. Up against Huddersfield, without a win in four now, 21st in the table, and 15 points on the board. 33% for them, heading into this. Last time around, they're over at John Smith's Kirk Lees and McAlpine. It was a 3-1 win for Southampton uh, back in December 2018. That was in the Prem de la Prem, of course. However, uh, South or Huddersfield only lost once in the last five against them, as these two sides have uh, duked it out to a winner piece and three draws over the last uh, five. Last time around, though, or called the bookies' odds, 10 to 3 is your Huddersfield, 3 to 1 is your draw, 10 to 7 on is your Southampton. Red hot to trot right now, and of course, making a move for the top two. 3 0 win for me. Job done. Piece of piss. On to the next one, you say. Meanwhile, Leicester City against Watford. Probably one of the games of the day uh, heading into this one over at the King Power. Played each other 39 times since 1993. We've got uh, 21 wins for Leicester, 10 wins for Watford, uh, 8 draws, of course. Biggest win for Leicester, 5 1 win. They've got 78 goals in those uh, 39 matches, 2 goals a game on average. Up against Watford, 3 1 win. Their biggest 48 goals scored in 39 matches, 1.23 goals a game. Watford on the Valorant Ishmael, unbeaten in the last six now, 75% form for them right now. 13th at the table and 21 points on the board. Up against Leicester back to back defeats right now. Say it quietly 67% form for them right now. Top of the table uh, with 39 points, of course. Last time round, though, over at Leicester it was a 4 1 win for Leicester back in uh, January 2022. That was in the FA Cup third round. Last time pleasure, though, in the league. Uh, at home, at Leicester, was a 4-2 win for Leicester. We've won three on the bounce against uh, Watford, scoring what uh, What we're looking at here. Tw th 13 goals of the last three combined. Wow, wow, we were. They like playing them. In fact, they're unbeaten in the last five. 
uh, as well. So uh, we'll probably look to look to go with that as well. Fifty to eight on is your Leicester on this one. Three to one is your draw. Five to one is your. I've, I've got a feeling about this game. I've got a really gut feeling that uh, uh, Watford can get something out of it. However, I am backing. I think I'm backing. Uh, uh, yeah, backing a Leicester win, three 0 win. But you know, this one, this one, this one sits a little bit uncomfortable for me on this one. I think Watford could surprise us. But I'm, I'm, you know, with my, with a, with with a betting head. Going with a 3-0 win for Leicester on this one. Anyway, let Norwich up against QPR. Will Wagner still be in charge of Norwich? As of recording, on the 15th of November, he is. Uh, played each other 39 times. These two sides, since 1993, we've got 18 wins for Norwich. We've got 9 wins for QPR. 12 draws, of course. Biggest win for Norwich, 4-0 win. They've got 61 goals in 39 matches. 1.56 goals a game. Up against QPR, new manager. Back-to-back draws for them. We'll talk about that shortly. 4-1 win there. Biggest for QPR. 46 goals scored in 39 matches. 1.18 goals a game. QPR, 70% form for them right now. Back-to-back games without a loss. They are 20 third with 10 points on the board. Meanwhile, Norwich, one win in six for them, 25% for them. They are 16th with 20 points on the board. Last time around, though, over at Loftus Road, it was a one-day win for Norwich. That was in the uh, round one. That was actually earlier in this season uh, in, the, in the EFL Cup. They did play each other last time around in the league last year. One one it was, of course, back in April 2023. But the odds right here right now, we're looking at uh, we're looking at Norwich 20 to 30 on for the victory. They should win this game. 3 to 1 is draw. 4 to 1 is your long shot. So I don't care who's in charge. It should be a home win here. 2 to win for Norwich, Wagner or somebody else. We'll see. Uh, meanwhile, Plymouth Argyle up against Sunderland, of course, over in Plymouth. Uh, now these two sides again play each other tw- 10 times to 2004. We've got three wins for Plymouth. We've got six wins for Sunderland. One draw, of course. Biggest win for, for Plymouth. 2-1 win. They've got 10 goals in those 10 games. Of course, you could do the math on that one. Meanwhile, Sunderland, biggest win. 5-1 win. They've got 20 goals in those 10 games. That's two goals a game on average. Meanwhile, Sunderland, of course, unbeaten in the last three now. 42% for them, for them heading into this. They are sixth in the table, 26 points on the board. Up against Plymouth, uh, one win in six, 33% for them right now, 19th at the table. Uh, and looking, uh, yeah, a little bit wobbly at the moment. Of course, last time around, though, over in Plymouth, it was a 0-0 draw back in April 2022. That was in League One. Meanwhile, of course, uh, heading into this, the bookies odds. We are Plymouth, 21 to 10 for the victory. 11 to 4 is a draw. 11 to 10 is, of course, your, your Sunderland, who are favoured to win this game. But Plymouth at home are a tricky unit. We, we've been there. We've got bitten by the bug ourselves and some other bigger clubs uh, have done as well. So I think Sunderland will be f- uh, the latest to fall uh, against this um, you know, a surprise team, of course, at home. Definitely, that's where the points are at. Uh, meanwhile, Preston off end up against Cardiff coming at you over at Deepdale. Now, these two sides, again, have played each other 31 times. Two thousand three. We've got 10 wins for Preston, 12 wins for Cardiff, 9 draws a goal. It's biggest win for Preston, 6-0 win. They've got 41 goals in 31 matches, 1.32 goals a game. Up against Cardiff, their biggest win, 4-0 win. They've got 37 goals in 31 matches, 1.19 goals a game. 50% form, though, for Cardiff at the moment. 1-2 loss to and drawn two down to ninth. 24 points on the board. Up against Preston, 50% form for them also. one two lost to and drawn to they're still in the top five uh, of course fifth of the table and 28 points on the board last time around though over at deep Dale was a 2-0 win for Preston of course uh, three clean sheets on the bounce against Cardiff. Oh, wow, wow, wee, wow. Meanwhile, the odds for this one, we have Preston 11-8 for the Richie 9 4 draw 2-1 as your away win. Preston, unfortunately, going to win this one. 2-0 win again, keeping up the heat, remaining in the playoffs, promoted by December. Oh, wow, wow, wee, wow. Kicking off forward, it is Rotherham, it is Leeds, it is a bit of a Yorkshire affair. And again, Rotherham without a coach right now, looking for a new manager. Again, that may be sorted by the time this game goes live, but heading into this, they have played Leeds 13 times to 2004. We've got five wins for Rotherham, six wins for Leeds, two draws, of course, biggest win for Rotherham. 4-2 win. They've got 12 goals in 13 matches. 0.92 goals a game. Up against Leeds, a 3-0 win there. Biggest 17 goals scored in 13 matches. 1.31 goals a game. Leeds winning five of the last six. They are to third right now. 31 points on the board. Up against Rotherham, 22nd, point, uh, 22nd in the table. 11 points on the board. Uh, 42% form for them right now. Uh, without a win in four, just one win in six. Last time around, though, over at the New York Stadium, it was a 2-1 win for Leeds back in January 2019. Leeds winning four in the rounds against Rotherham. Uh, of course, and the odds for this one look uh, no different. 11 to 2 is your Rotherham, 5 to 2 on is your Lee's red hot favourites, and 4 to 1 is your draw. I don't care who it is, it could be Warnock, it could be bloody Guardiola. I still think it'll be a 2 0 win for Leeds on this one. Next up, we do have the, the game of the day, and I'll be at the hot seat. It'll be Stoke, it'll be Rovers, it'll be at the Bet365 Stadium. Now, these two sides have played 20 times in 2008. 11 wins for Stoke, 5, five wins for Rovers. Four draws, of course. Biggest win for Stoke. Three near win. Uh, they've got uh, uh, 25 goals in 20 games. 1.25 goals a game. Up against Rovers. 4-1 win. Their biggest 19 goals scored in 20 matches. One point, uh, 0.95 goals a game. 30, uh, 50% form there for Rovers right now. We were once, the, or not too recently, the form team in the division. However, just one win in four for us right now. 50% form uh, and 12th in the table. Up against Stoke. Again, red hot to trot right now. Unbeaten the last five. But back-to-back draws. 67% for them heading into this. Last time around, it was a 3 2 win for Stoke. I remember this day. I think I was on the road. I don't know uh, where I was driving. I think I was driving from uh, uh, PA to Georgia. Uh, 10th of March, it was 3 2 win Golf Fest 
in the end. Stoke winning three in the bounce against Rovers. Rovers, um, yeah, not great. Not great against Stoke in recent times. We need to change that. We need to change that starting now. Six to five is your Stoke. 12 to five is draw. 11 to five is your Rovers. Rovers have not drawn in a long, long time. It's going to go with a 1-1 draw here. Point apiece. And I'll take it right here, right now, if offered. Meanwhile, we go Swansea. We go Hull City. We go to Wales on this one. Now, these two sides have played each other. 22 times, 2003. We've got six wins for Swansea. 10 wins for Hull. I've got six draws, of course. Biggest win for Swansea. Three near win. They've got 29 goals in those 22 matches. Uh, no point. Uh, 1.32 goals a game. Up against Hull. Biggest win. 2-0 win. They've got 33 goals in 22 matches. 1.50 goals a game. Hull winning three on the last four. 58% form for them right now. Up to eighth. Uh, 26 points on the board. Looking good for them right now. Swansea, 17 for the moment. Just one win in uh, in uh, uh, five, of course. Uh, 17 for the table. 19 points. 42% form for them right now. Uh, of course, that one win was against Rovers, of course. Last time around, though, over in Wales, it was a 3-0 a win for Swansea back in September 2022. But the odds right here right now, we've got Swansea 6-4 for the victory. 11 at 5 is the draw. We've got 50 to 8 is your hole. This is a tight one. Could go either way. Uh, but I'm back in Swansea to turn it around in Wales. 2-1 win for them. Uh, as the whole fans make the long trip for that one. And wrap it up, wrap it up. Here's West Brom. It is Ipswich. It's over at the Hawthorns. And I'm showing you. Uh, you know, well, if you saw it, you saw it. But anyway, let's get into the deep end on this one. Played each other 21 times in 1995. We've got seven wins for West Brom, eight wins for Ipswich. Six draws, of course. Biggest win for the Baggies. 4-0 win. They've got 30 goals in 21 matches. 1.43 goals a game. Up against Ipswich. 5-0 win there. Biggest 28 goals scored in 21 matches. 1.33 goals a game. Up against uh, Ipswich. 67% form for them right now. Just one defeat of the past six. They are second, 39 points on the board right now. 67% form for them. Heading into this one, West Brom, though, just one defeat the past five for them. 58% form for them. Uh, seventh in the table and 26 points on the board at the moment. Last time around at the Hawthorns, it was a 1-1 draw back in March 2019. Uh, the odds for this one, though, we have 64 is your baggies, 24 is your draws, 70 to 10 is, of course, your tricky little lip switch here. But I am backing uh, West Brom here. 3-2 win for them. I think uh, it's going to be a great game, class cracking game. And yes, thank heavens for that. It has a dedicated time so we can all watch this one as i expect plenty of goals plenty of drama and plenty of chaos that of course was the link that of course is my picks and of course this is what the table will look like at the end of it of course it'll be leicester it'll be Epswich as you were at the tip of the drop of the table with leeds closing into now just five points to the gap uh, of course southampton then we have preston then we have uh, west brom in the top six going down rather than qpr and wednesday rovers remain pretty much in mid table not much to get excited about but that is that that is that. And this is me, of course. Don't forget to smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell. We'll be back, of course, for the next round of games. But until then, guys, I'll see you soon for the next one.